I'm Willem, and welcome to Nobody Died at Stonewall. Oh, nobody, was nobody was killed? Nobody was killed at Stonewall. An LGBTQ history series so gay it could be a Catholic priest. For today's lessons, we're gonna talk about <laughs> Harvey Milk. Harvey Milk was the first gay person ever elected to office in the state of California, as opposed to me, who's the first gay Californian to get disqualified from a crossdresser game show. Willem, I have to ask you to leave the competition immediately. Harvey Milk was born in 1930 in Long Island to Lithuanian Jewish immigrants. After graduating college, he enlisted in the Navy, but was discharged after his supervisors questioned him about his sexuality. Girl, my last discharge was questionable too. <laughs> At age 42, Harvey moved to San Francisco and soon ran for political office. You know, not many people know this, but I thought about running for political office, but I was wholly unqualified. But Honey Mahogany sure did run for Harvey Milk's seat last year. Delusion. <laughs> Convince yourself. In 1977, Harvey Milk won his third bid at office and was inaugurated as a San Francisco City County Supervisor. His election made national and international headlines as being one of the first openly gay people to hold office, unlike when I made regional news for losing at regionals. Whatever that means. While in office, Milk's objectives were to protect gay rights, women, and people of all marginalized communities. One of his most notable acts while in office was knocking down a bill that would have required all openly gay teachers in public schools to be fired. Public school, calm down. Girl, there goes the drama department. Sadly, at age 47, Harvey Milk was assassinated along with Mayor George Moscone by Dan White, a former disgruntled city supervisor. This is why we can't trust straight people. That night he was murdered, a candlelight vigil was held in his honor attracting thousands. Milk was a big proponent of all LGBTQ people coming out and being heard. Meanwhile, I couldn't advocate for some people to shut the fuck up harder. Your tone seems very pointed right now. He stated in his will, if a bullet should enter my brain, let that bullet destroy every closet door, which is why I have dressers. Dan White, the murderer, was only sentenced to seven years in prison and he didn't even serve half of that. Part of his defense was that he ate too much junk food that day and wasn't thinking clearly, literally. It was called the Twinkie defense, which is not a callback to Brent Corrigan. But now I'm hungry. Anyone, pour one out for Milk, because he did a lot for us. And if you want to see more about Harvey Milk, you can watch the movie Milk by Lance Black. Hi, Lance. Hi, Lance.